let's take a look at the venomous snakes of Florida. This includes the pit vipers and the elapids. The eastern diamondback is the largest of all rattlesnakes, with specimens reaching up to six feet long and some over six feet having been documented. Although the eastern diamondback is usually shy and secretive, it produces a large quantity of venom, meaning a bite from this snake is a possible life-threatening medical emergency requiring prompt treatment. The cane brake rattlesnake is another large species which produces a large quantity of venom. The venom composition of this rattlesnake varies from region to region and population to population, with some populations having a potent neurotoxic component to the venom. The dusky pygmy rattlesnake is Florida's smallest venomous snake, with adults reaching a length of approximately 24 inches. With small fangs, small venom glands, and a small venom yield, the dusky pygmy rattlesnake can still produce a very painful and possibly disfiguring bite that requires treatment with antivenom. The Florida Cottonmouth is a highly aquatic pit viper, which can inflict a very painful and possibly fatal bite. In the Florida Panhandle, the Florida Cottonmouth may hybridize with the Northern Cottonmouth. The Eastern Copperheads range in Florida is limited to several regions in the Panhandle. Although the Copperheads venom is considered less toxic than the closely related Cottonmouth, bites still require proper treatment. The secretive eastern coral snake possesses a potent neurotoxic venom, and venomation causes rapid paralysis and respiratory failure in prey. Eastern coral snake bites and fatalities are very rare. The coral snake is considered secretive and generally reluctant to bite. With that said, coral snakes should never be handled as they can quickly bite and envenomate. <laughs>